Hi everybody, it's Ramona, your Superstar Sensi Consultant. Welcome back. Today we're going to do part two of my warm reviews of the Bring Back My Bar collection for spring 2021. Um, I have six here. I'm working on the next six and uh, hopefully in the next week or so we'll be all done so you'll have an idea of what you want to purchase when they become available today actually. Um, so the first one is Mulberry Bush. This is sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels. This I really liked. I gave it a seven out of 10 on scent appeal. It definitely is kind of reads kind of Christmassy to me. Not that I'm a real seasonal melter. I kind of wax and wane. I go back and forth. Uh, but definitely I got the mulberry. It was a little sweet, but it was a little uh, tart as well. And the orange peels, it's not a cess it's not a zesty, bright, citrusy orange peel. It's just kind of like like the, the white pithy part. You can kind of smell that, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I did like it. I gave it a 7 out of 10. And for throw, it performed really well. It was in my kitchen. Um, and I gave it a 7 for throw. The next one is Jet Set Go. And I had this one in my living room. And this is a jet off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. So orange, papaya, and vanilla. It was okay. I it, it was better warm than it was on cold. At cold, on cold, the papaya really kind of threw me off. Papaya can sometimes smell like stinky feet to me. But anyway, I did like this. It's 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 kind of a tropical blend. If you're not into tropical notes or juicy, fruity notes, you might not like it. I liked it more than I thought I would. As I said, I did give it a 7 out of 10. And the throw was medium. I gave it a 7 out of 10 for throw as well. And then we have Jet Set Daisies. Or fresh. I'm sorry. Jet Set Daisies. What am I doing? Um, it's not even a happy hour yet. Um, this is Fresh Cut Daisies. There we go. A meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. So grass and clover, some green notes in there, daisies, buttercups, and ivy uh, floral. So this was okay. I mean, I it was a little too floral for my taste. So for that reason, I gave it a 5 out of 10 for scent appeal. However, it threw just fine. Actually, I gave it an 8 out of 10 for throw. Um, but it definitely is more um, floral than it is green. But it was a very good performer. Okay, moving on. We have Spring Forward. And let me see where you are. Da -da -da. Where are you, Spring Forward? I have my iPad right here. Oh, there it is. If sunshine had a scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedar wood. So this, um, this was okay. I did get the bergamot in here. Bergamot um, is something to do with the uh, citrus family, but my nose always interprets, interprets it as uh, perfume or cologne, something like that. So don't get me wrong, this was not a heavy perfume or cologne, but um, I I feel like the bergamot took over the raspberry and I did get a little bit of cedarwood, but not a lot. So I kind of got bergamot and cedarwood. It was okay. I should have closed that window. Um, it was okay. I gave it a six on scent appeal. It was in my living room and it was a pretty medium throw. I gave it a seven for throw. But it's, I, I wish I have got, I think if I had gotten a little more of that raspberry jam, I probably would have liked it a little bit better. Um, the next one is lemon thyme berry. I melted this in my kitchen. And this is, I've had this before and it was good. So I knew I was going to like this. Sparkling lemonade and strawberry with crushed thyme. So I gave this an eight out of 10% appeal. It was really, really good. I definitely get the lemonade and strawberry um, with a little bit of a um, herbal note. Uh, not a lot. I definitely think the lemonade is the lemonade comes out first with a little bit of strawberry behind it. Um, but it was really, really good. Yes, I would repurchase this one. As I said, I gave it an eight out of 10% appeal 
and the throw was, pre I gave it a, a 7 to 7.5. It was kind of a medium throw. And finally, in this last batch here of uh, uh, scents, we have Ocean, Cool and Refreshing Aquatic Notes Deepened with Water Lilies and Ocean Breezes. This is really, really good. Um, I really like this. I gave it a 9% appeal. It is, it's one of the very few aquatic scents that I that Scentsy does that I care for. Some I don't care for, but this one I really enjoyed a lot. In fact, I might put this in my club. This might be one I should put in my club. Maybe I'll put, yes, I would put a C by that for club. Um, anything else that I want to put in my club? Mm, not really. Okay, anyway. So, yes. Yeah, so, Ocean, 9 out of 10. Scent appeal, really great. I loved it. Throw was 8 out of 10. Really, really impressed with it. I would repurchase this again. I definitely get, it's definitely aquatic and ocean and breezy with just a hint of floral behind it. So that's why I liked it. It wasn't overbearing. It didn't, um, you know, power out the ocean or, or the fresh note from it. Uh, and it did not have that kind of musky aquatic note that sometimes I find to be in sensey, um, you know, water aquatic uh, scents like that. But I really enjoyed this one a lot. So if you like aquatic, if you like kind of fresh, <coughs> pardon me, I'm sorry, uh, fresh, you know, <clears throat> fresh ocean, aquatic, you definitely will like that a lot. So uh, as did I. So <coughs> pardon me. Okay. I guess it's time to go. So, um, that's it for, uh, part two and I'm working on part three and I'll see you in a few days with part three. Bye.